Hi, I'm Mark and this is Let's Vibe, the channel all about crystals and our feelings. So it is officially cancer season. Um, it's been cancer season since June 23rd, I think, or 22nd. Um, and <laughs> I really wanted to, the whole time I was planning to do a video, um, but I don't know, wasn't quite feeling it. So, but I really wanted to um, make this video for on July 1st. Um, just not, not wait any longer uh, to introduce some stones that I think uh, resonate really well with cancer energy. Um, I think part of the reason I didn't do a video right at the start of cancer season was because I was sort of feeling out different crystals. Um, you know, Judy Hall, she's got her Crystal Zodiac, um, which is really cool. It's a great book because not only does she assign crystals, multiple crystals to your sun sign, your moon sign, and your ascendant. But she also has, um, you know, detailed descriptions of each crystal, as well as rituals that you can do um, with your specific zodiac crystal. Um, it's a very, it's a really good resource. But uh, Judy Hall, she gives Moonstone, she assigns Moonstone to Cancer Sun Sign and Cancer, no, sorry, Cancer Moon and Ascendant. Um, she gives Moonstone for both of those. For the Sun Sign, she gives Anhydrite. Um, and I will be doing a video on one type of Anhydrite that I have uh, a little later, but I've already done a video on Moonstone, a, quite a few different Moonstones. Um, one of my first videos was white on White Moonstone and Black Moonstone. So if you want to check out those videos on Moonstone, just go to my um, oldest or older videos uh, from a couple years ago, and I've got green moonstone, peach gray, coffee, black and white. And yeah, moonstone is really great for um, the, the sign of cancer because it is, you know, cancer is ruled by the moon and moonstone is very gentle, very feminine, very nurturing and protective. But I found another stone that I think has some very similar energies, but is also quite different. And that stone is fairy calcite. So this is a bit of a, an odd stone. Um, it's got an interesting shape. Each piece has a very interesting shape with like these rounded nodes and um, mine has some empathy nicks as they're called. I dropped this a couple times. This used to have a really nice like rounded head up here and so it was symmetrical like I had three nodes um, but it broke off. <laughs> I was very I was not happy about that. Um, there also used to be like a a piece connected here that that broke. But um, in spite of the, the, the small pieces that have broken off, this stone is still very much in use and, and still very, very um, uh, powerful, I guess, I, I would say. Um, powerful in a very feminine way. Uh, fairy calcite is a mixture of 
mud and calcite uh, that formed in Quebec. These pieces come from Quebec, uh, Quebec. <laughs> and I don't think they're found anywhere else. Um, but uh, yeah, so it's a, it's a mixture of mud and calcite and they all formed these very unique, very interesting shapes. And some of the some of the pieces look like a woman. Um, sometimes it looks like a, a pregnant woman, you know, with these all these rounded nodes. Um, so, fairy calcite. When I pick up this stone, it's this is very very much an earth energy stone. This is, well, I would say earth and water, um, earth and water elements, but it is such a feminine energy of protection. And this stone is very comforting. Um, it's very grounding, but in a really pleasant, gentle manner. Um, the energy that I, I get when I hold this stone is it's like an energy of sitting in the woods or in some kind of beautiful natural setting and just connecting with Mother Earth, with, with Mother Nature, that kind of Earth-centered grounding. Um, that's what fairy calcite is all about and it's called fairy calcite because it also connects with the energies of the fairies and the fairy realm um which is a very elemental type of energy you know there's there's many different kinds of fairies and many of them are are tied with the elements like earth, water, air, fire. Um, but it's got that fairy energy. And it's also, I, because of that, I, this stone can also be used for connecting with your spirit guides, for connecting with um, spirit animals. Um, this is all about, this, this calcite is all about Gaia and mother nature and connecting with the elements of the earth. And so it's got that kind of, um, I, I think it fits cancer season and cancer energy really well in that sense, because um, it does have a watery energy, but it's, it's like the water of a lake or the water of a stream, a creek. You know, something gentle and um, protected. It, it's, it makes me think of sitting by a lake and just being at peace, being grounded, feeling safe. Um, it's, it's really a beautiful stone. And if you look up, you know, if you go online, if you go on Etsy and look for fairy calcite, um, you'll find just a wide array of shapes and sizes. And um, I would suggest just going on and browsing and just pay attention for which whichever shape catches your eye or, you know, gives you that intuitive hit because that, that, that'll be the, the, the piece for you. Um, that's why I chose this piece. I like the three <laughs> points, one of which is gone, but um, yeah, this is really a, a very beautiful stone and a very interesting form of calcite. Um, it also gives me an energy of like going with the flow in a very gentle manner. 
um, moving with the flow of the universe, the flow of spirit. Um, this stone is, is just a great stone for meditation, um, getting quiet, quieting the mind. Um, I think it's a stone, depending on the shape, uh, you know, it, it can easily be fit under a, a pillow. I think it's good for sleep um, because it has such calming, restful vibes and protective vibes. It really does feel like a comforting embrace. Um, so I was thinking about what kind of song would fit Fairy Calcite. Um, I was trying to think of a song that matched the comforting, um, loving vibrations of this stone. Um, because you definitely do feel, I, um, it's a feminine, like, divine feminine kind of love energy that comes through here, through this stone, um, from the earth, from Gaia. Um, and I was, <laughs> I was thinking of the Dixie Chicks, or sorry, the Chicks as they're now called. Um, and for some reason, I was I was thinking about some songs from their third studio album, <laughs> because some of the songs on that album have a very like down home, down to earth sound. <laughs> and so I was about to suggest, or I was about to share the song, A Home, <laughs> by the chicks <laughs> for this stone because you know cancer the sign of cancer is all about the home and nurturing and the family and the mother <laughs> i just listened to a home and was reading the lyrics and <laughs> i realized <laughs> it's about a lost relationship and the ending of a relationship and like essentially the loss of a sense of home a loss of like the heart of a home <laughs> it's so the opposite of of the message i'm going for with this stone <laughs> so i'm really i i did not do my research as they say um, so, thankfully, a different song came, came to me, and it was actually the, of course, the first song that came into my mind when I, when I started thinking about doing a video on this fairy calcite. So the song that I've chosen is, uh, Like a Bird by Nelly Furtado, um, one of her biggest hits a classic of hers. Um, I like it just because it's very... It, it, it's got that earthy, um, you know, Mother Earth kind of folk sound. And like, it's just kind of about... It's like she's singing about just, you know, going with the flow or moving with the wind and, and just being kind of a free spirit, basically. It's this free spirited kind of vibe in that song. And and the, the video is very like hippie. Um, she's all up in the trees. And um, so it's, <laughs> I think it fits fairy calcite pretty well. Um, so I will include a link in the description box below to Like a Bird by Nelly Furtado. Um, be sure to press that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in an oracle or tarot reading, please email me at livebyyourfeelings at gmail.com. I will include my email address in the description box as well. And 
please leave your comments and questions. I love to hear from you. And as always, thank you so much for vibing with me.